Hey, what's up guys? So today I was going to do my Beauty Army Box video, but that turned out to be a total disaster. I'm going to bring up the pictures here real quick to show you, but you guys, my Beauty Army Box came in the mail today and it was ruined, absolutely ruined. Like, I'm so upset right now. I sent a, like, a thing to Beauty Army asking what we could do, but the box when it came in like the second I opened the box I knew there was something wrong because it just it looked like something might have leaked a little bit and holy cow it leaked all over there was a shower gel that was in there and it completely like half the bottle spilled out into everything and it just coated everything so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show you anything from the box and I'm not gonna show you the box um, I'm I have a picture here on my phone that's what the box looked like I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah see it like leaked everywhere it was just horrible and like the outside of the box there it was just like awful so yeah I can't do my Beauty Army box for you guys because I don't feel comfortable showing it because it was just, oh, it was so awful. But anyways, I did get my Ipsy one in the bag, or in the bag, in the bag, in the mail, too. So I'm going to do that one instead because I was going to combine them and do them both in one video. But you guys are just going to have to skip this month's Beauty Army box for seeing it because I can't. I mean, I got a shower gel on there and then there was like... A lip gloss in there, an eyeshadow, and a couple of face things like, um, well, there was a hair like a macadamia, the deeper pear mask sample, and then there was, uh, um, what else was there? Some sort of like, it was the Sayesta carrots thing. So that's what was in there, but it's like kind of not pretty looking right now because it got all ruined. So anyways, the Ipsy bag hopefully will be a lot better because I'm like, oh my gosh, I need my day to be good. It's Valentine's Day today. And I really like the way my makeup turned out and just everything was going good until I opened my box. So the Ipsy one here comes in its normal, you know, pink bright packaging here. And I actually haven't opened this up yet, so I'm just like, this is almost like an unboxing video because I actually just got this. And I was like so busy trying to clean up my Beauty Army stuff, I haven't even looked into what I got from Ipsy. So, okay, so this is Get Red Carpet Ready. So that's kind of their theme this month for Ipsy. Is it's very glamorous and like kind of, you know, like totally red carpet. So that's what the card look for it looks like. And then on the back of it, it shows you where you can get, and there's like, discounts for all the stuff that comes in the bag and I just pulled this out and this bag is really nice it's a very glossy shiny black bag like that's so pretty like it's like patent leather like what is that what they call it patent leather I don't know anyways it's gorgeous Ooh, cool and then the inside of it here the inside of it's all red so that's totally like it reminds me of my dream pair of stilettos which is those I think they're Louis Vuittons it's the ones that are like that shiny black with the red heel you girls all know what I'm talking about every girl that doesn't own a pair wants a pair those are the ones I want someday so let's open this up and see what's in there normally like when I do a video I already know because I've looked at everything but I haven't even looked at this stuff so let's see what's in here so the first thing we have here, ooh, Pixie Flawless and Poreless Face Primer. Awesome. So you get a little face primer in here. And um, I like Pixie stuff. Like normally they're really expensive, so I don't shop their stuff. So it's really nice that you get a face primer. It doesn't smell like anything, so it doesn't have a weird scent or anything, which is always the first thing I check for in a primer because, like, I've had bad luck with primers. So it says it's a pore-minimizing face primer, and it is oil-free. So... Yeah, I'm excited to try that. Their big ones are like really expensive, like 30 bucks for them. So I don't know how much this one would retail for, but it's pretty cool. So we have a face primer. And then what else do we have in here? We have a black gel eyeliner Ooh, from a place called Mika Beauty Cosmetics. And that's what that looks like. Yeah. Anyways, and so it's just this really like black, black. Um, like gel eyeliner and you guys know how obsessed I am with gel eyeliners it's actually the only thing I use right now but I think I might be like slowly transitioning to liquid ones I still can't use like straight pencil because it makes my eyes like all itchy but I might use some liquid liners but I don't know any good brands yet because I haven't used them in like years so there's that and then mascara I gotta open this packaging on here I like mascara you guys I just did like um, that maybe that's what I'll do for my other video since I can't film Beauty Armies. I bought a whole ton of mascaras this week, so 
if I can get this darn thing open. So this is from Pop Beauty. I personally have never heard of Pop Beauty, but I'm sure they're probably pretty good. So this is number one Smoky Black. It's their Smoky Lash Kapow. Kapow, is that how you say that? Mascara. And it's a really pretty, like, packaging. Like, I do like the packaging. It's very, like, sleek and kind of sexy looking, which is, like, the theme for this month. So open it up, and holy cow, that is a really kind of a big brush. And so it's a really big kind of bristled brush, so hopefully that'll work pretty well for me. But it looks very, very black, so maybe I'll, like, do a thing where I, like, try it out so you guys can see. So, yeah. So, eyeliner, mascara, face primer. Like, this is a good combination of stuff to have here. And then what do we have here? We have a lash card. I don't really, I've never used lash cards, obviously, because I've never started using mascara till now. And I'm opening this so you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm not, I heard that you put like, you can put it underneath your bottom lashes or on your top so that you can not get um, mascara on your, like, eyelid. So far, like, putting on my um, mascara these past, like, week, I haven't had a problem with that, except on my bottom. I get it on my bottom a lot, so. Anyways, you get, there's, looks like four of them in here. They're just these little cards that you do, and they're called just lash cards. And you just get four of them in here, and it just is supposed to help with like smudging and clumping. So you can see the, um, the little diagram on there. It gives you a diagram of like how you're supposed to use it. And it says one card per session. Um, so it's nice that there's four in there. And then on the top there, or the bottom, it shows you kind of like what you're supposed to do. So you can put it like above so that you don't get it on the top of your eyelid here or on the bottom. So. I might use it for my bottom, but I'm not sure if I'll use it on the top. I honestly don't really know how to use a lash card because I've never used it before. So, there's that. And then, ah, I've never used these before. So, you get four little Coastal Sense eyeshadows. The four colors are, it says it's Glitz and Glamour. It's Candlelight, Gunmetal, Incognito, and Ashen. So, I'm going to try and see how we did this. So, Candlelight. So there's the four colors. I'm not sure which is which. It gives like a little diagram on the back. Come on, camera. There we go. So they're really pretty colors. There's like this horrible glare on there too. Sorry, guys. But yeah, so there's the four colors on there. And it like tells you where they are. So I'm assuming like this light color is the candlelight. And then I think that must be the gunmetal. And then I'm assuming that's probably ashen and then incognito. Because ash is usually like a dark gray. So it looks like you have like kind of a... I don't know, kind of like a, it's like a light gray or like a dark off-white color in there. And then you have a shimmery kind of, almost like a taupey silver color. And then one of them is like a smoky gray. And then you have like a kind of a glittery black. But it looks like it has flecks of something else in it too, like flecks of bronze maybe. So, mm, it's really pretty. So yeah, you can totally create this like sexy smoky eye with it. And then do like the mascara and the whole thing. So they did a good job like putting these things together. And then obviously like if you do, sorry my like face itches right now. But if you do like a, um, you know like a super dramatic eye. You probably want to keep the rest of your face pretty simple. So it's nice that they give you a primer so that you can just prime your skin. And then just maybe set it with a powder. You don't even maybe need foundation. Or if you do just keep it light. So Overall, I'm really impressed with it. I always like Ipsy's bags. Um, I'm always excited to see what they throw in there every month because they have some really nice brands. Like Coastal Scents has amazing eyeshadows, and I know Pixie's a really great brand. Um, I've never heard of the Mika Beauty one, but I'm sure they're pretty good. And then I did a little bit of research on this Pop Beauty mascara, and I hear that it's the best. Everybody said that the Smoky Lash one is like the best. So, and then like I said, the lash cards to me is nothing like super special. Like you could probably just, like honestly, I think they're made out of cardboard. You could probably just make them yourself. But hey, why not? Try them out. So that is the Ipsy bag. So that's, like I said, that's what the bag looks like. And then it has, oops, the Ipsy logo on the inside. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I will let you know like what I think of all these things as I start using them. And I'm um, sorry this wasn't more exciting. Like I said, my Beauty Armory box is just, I don't even want to talk about it. So I will see you guys next video. Bye.